typical alternator comes apart. Brush assembly. And and a very bad set of contact rings on the inside. And a very bad set of contact rings on the inside. So pretty much what an alternator does is there's a timing belt that drives the pulley. Timing belt drives, accessory belt drives the front pulley. And it's like a generator, generates electricity. Generates AC and puts it out as DC. So just to power your, your radio and country tunes, air conditioning, and all the other good stuff. Then you use a hairpin to keep the uh, contacts in. See, there's an alternator in action. There's your accessory belt. Spinning like a mini generator, and there's the copper coils. And then it comes with the far side that's free electricity, which then powers all the electronics in your vehicle. So, this is the sick puppy vehicle. This is the, uh, the Ranger look alike compared to my dad's Explorer. But the alternator, when we hooked it up to the signal meter, the alternator reads out rather okay but uh, the problem is is that the electronics seem a little flaky the lights flicker and whatnot so maybe it's not so much an alternator problem but a corroded battery problem there's a lot of gunk and muck on the terminal so maybe after every speed bump it jitters a little and so as much as we'd like to go around hacking up alternators and replacing them Right now we're thinking maybe the best fix is to just clean the terminal, see how that does. So we got the sandpaper. All you gotta do is just rough it up. Yeah, it should be pretty good. Bare metal. Maybe that would give a better connection. And then turn that metal around with replacing an alternator.